Okay, so for our first tip, we're going to talk about filtering and why you should put your lists in Microsoft Excel instead of Microsoft Word. This is an example of, let's call it, a players list or a contact list. We've got all the people involved in our case. Now the attorney wants to know who has to be deposed before the discovery deadline ends. Let's highlight this row. Turn on our filter. Filter by deposition, unselect these, and then select the blanks. And now we have filtered out and have a list of just the people who have no date listed in the deposition column. And you can filter by any of the columns in your spreadsheet. All right, that's tip number one. Tip number two, let's look at autofill and flash fill. Let's say you get a list of employees and it's listed with last name, comma, first name. But you want to be able to sort by first name and you want these in separate columns. You don't have to retype every single one. Microsoft Excel recognizes when you start doing something in a pattern. We're going to call this, here's his first name. As soon as we start typing our next one, notice in gray, Microsoft Excel is asking us, do you want me to autofill that? I press enter, and all of the first names are pulled out of that first column. Then I do the same thing with the last name. And press enter. Now you can do the same thing when you get a list of emails. In this example, we want to be able to have their first and last name separated out. Same thing, start typing, and Microsoft asks, is that what you want me to do? Same thing with the last name. All right, in here, we type in our month. Let's say we're going to start with January, and we want to put the entire year in this column. And you see here that Microsoft Excel is going to do that for us. And for as many years as we want, we could have a couple of years worth of months in there. Okay, and our third tip. Let's assume that you want to know the day of the week that a particular date is, whether it's in the past or the future. Let's say we have a situation where we have a date that we have in one of our cases or our transactions and it occurred on April 1st, 2015. We want to know what day of the week April 1st fell in 2015. So as we type in the date, notice that the format of it is a date. All we have to do is change it from a short date to a long date and it tells us that it was Wednesday in 2015 or we have a future date, you can do the same thing. Let's put in December 25th, 2021. We want to see when Christmas falls in 2021. Okay, we click out of it, and we see that the format is the regular date. Go in, change it to the long date, and give it a little bit more room. So that's good news. Christmas falls on a Saturday in 2021. And those are our three Excel tips for paralegals.